Hello, everyone, and I'm back once again with a headliner. Okay, a headlining story. I'm getting it from Madame Noree. All right, and it's all about Danny Leakes and her bout with depression. Okay, now Nene, Nene, Nene. Now, I told y'all she was going to have Greg as a storyline. And she's playing right into what I told y'all. Going back to the video where I said I did one on Nene Leaks is going to have Greg Leaks, her husband, as a storyline. And we need to send prayers up for him because it's going to be salacious, okay? And she is setting down the platform, the foundation of blaming Greg Leaks for all her pitfalls, for all her unwanted, unneeded outbursts. I mean, now I'm looking at Nene really sideways. I'm like, okay, Nene, are you the head bitch in charge? Are you the OG in real life for the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Or are you going to play this whining game again? Or are you bringing awareness to a definitely dis uh, disablement of being affected with anxiety, depression, you know, all that stuff in the mental health community that people every day, all day suffer from. But yet, they still maintain a life where they are not degrading people, going after people, making people feel less than, uh, especially when it's compared to you. You don't want them in your presence. You consider your co-workers once friends, but lately... Uh, you see them as co-workers, as your arch nemesis, as someone or your group of women that you take with are trying to get over you and above you. Now, what, what field are we playing now? Because I'm confused and I'm finna throw flag on play like stop it. I don't want what you're giving me. I can't take you serious anymore. Are you a weak person or are you a self-made built heiress? queen of the throne okay if you say you bout with the pressure take your medication move on and keep it focused okay or are you using this so-called depression as a storyline i can't decipher which one because one is very serious you can't just portray yourself as you know okay i'm gonna play this as a storyline and people gonna uh come and gravitate to me, they're going to feel sorry for me and give me sympathy points. But I'm still going to go in on these women, let havoc reign, make it so chaotic, everything is going to be focused on me, but I'm going to get sympathy, pity points, okay? I mean, that's where you want us to look at you, Nidhi? I'm, I'm confused. Because I even suffer from anxiety. I take medication for my anxiety because sometimes it's just too much. But I still try to treat people right, do right by people, and want people to treat me how I want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Respect me. I'm not going to treat you wrong. I'm not going to dog you out. I'm not going to put you on front street and try to drag you for filth. But you do this on a daily basis. Are you doing it just for the show, the money, the prestige, the fame, fortune, or what? Because I don't want you to attach yourself and stay for yourself as a weak B-I-T-C-H, okay? And think you're in head of something because you're not, okay? And just like they said, OGs have to become OGs and retire. Kenya, Marlo, Portia, they can succeed you and do real well. And not have to claim something like depression, okay? Because like I said, that's a serious uh, diagnosis. And if you're just trying to carry it for a storyline, that's piss poor. That is piss poor judgment, Nene. But we're going to get it. That's how I really felt about the situation. Because I don't think you need to be bringing that in as a storyline. Because too many people suffer from depression suicidal tendencies and the list goes on and on and on it really affects them i mean schizophrenia oh that's a very very big deal and you should not be playing with it okay and definitely not using it for a storyline because i'm gonna tell you when you take medication like that once they get it treated correctly you're on an even kill type 
zone. But how you going fluctuate? Is it bipolar you're giving me? I mean, come on, let's get on some meds. Let's get it under control. And maybe you don't need to be on Reality Housewives of Atlanta anymore if you can't control yourself. Because we definitely don't want you to be taking out your grievances you have with how life has uh, dealt you a bad hand or a hand that you can't seem to be dealing with. It seems like, you know, it's a lot of people are out there that definitely um, have to take care of loved ones that are sick, you know, caregivers. They don't have a spotlight in the platform that you are on. They have to be working at a nine to five job or, you know, a career type job and then come home and, you know, tend to their loved ones. Or might be doing it simultaneously. I don't know. Uh, but there are people who are out there doing the darn thing and not crying uh, and, and making it a storyline or be having a big pity party about it, okay? Now, definitely, whether Greg wants help, outside help or not, that's not really his choice. If you're trying to be the breadwinner, the provider, he's just going to have to move and shake with it and have guardians around him, caretakers, while you go do it. Now, if you feel that, doll, you got a bad lease on life, that now you have to be the uh, provider, the protector, the breadwinner, then, you know, you shouldn't have got married. You know, that's more so um, through sickness and health, through the good times, the bad times, through the struggling times, through the good times. You know, that's what it is. Some person, you know, it's not always the man is going to be deemed as the provider towards till the end of his lifetime. Some things may happen, and then the wife has to step up to the plate. And if that's just too much for you, you might need to think about downsizing. You might need to think about coming out of the reality world and just living like a plain Nene Leaks, you know, working a nine to five. Or if you've gotten enough money to downsize and then it still take, will be able to take care of you in grade, then I will behoove you to do that so you can have some sanity some mental stability, because evidently it's just too much for you. At least that's what I'm getting out of it. Now, we're going to go on to this headline story, and we're going to read a little bit. And if I have to make a sidebar here and there, then I would do so. But let's get into it. Like I said, it comes from a, a blogging site and a magazine company called Madame Mignor. Okay, might not pronounce that right, but I'm close to it. Okay, anyway, um, it's uh, written by Tanya Hudson. She put it out on August the 11th, 2019. Uh, her title of her article was uh, named or titled, Nene Leaks Opens Up About Depression Battle While Caring for Husband. Okay, nice photo of her. It goes in to say, Nene Leaks has been the sole caregiver for her husband, Greg, since he was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. Taking care of someone with such a serious illness also took a toll on her health, specifically her mental health. Real Housewives of Atlanta Star said while caring for Greg, she noticed that she wasn't feeling like herself, usually. The pressure of being the backbone of her family had began to break her down. Now, that's why we need to uh, give applause and uh, hand claps for men who are definitely straight up shooters they're providers they're out there doing the whole thing because they know they have to provide it's a lot of weight put on their shoulders but hey i don't think there's no bad design in what the lord created when he put man as head of household okay secondary to him of course and you know they're built for that but when a woman has to take on that burden and do it all then it does uh, affect us differently very emotionally because we weren't built to do that or be in that type of position if you're going in the biblical realm and talking spiritual okay i'm not just talking earthly uh thoughts or speculations of how things need to flow uh going back to the article it says being a caretaker and doing something like caring for someone with cancer for the first time in my life then to have to be the breadwinner for everything it's a lot 
Le Leeks told Hollywood Life, the overseer of everything in our life, it was like a lot of pressure and it really did feel like depression. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is a lot for you to be taking on. And I understand that, Nene. But my thing is, and my thoughts, okay, we already dealt with you in this in season 11. We didn't want you to bring it in season 12, even though, like I said, you were bringing Greg, and Greg was going to be your storyline, why you didn't want to take with all these women all the time. But I'm like, okay, if you're feeling this kind of way, I hope you are. I know y'all supposed to have some scenes in season 12 where y'all going to be going through a lot of counseling and carrying on, but don't make this no pity party about you, old Nene, old Nene, old Nene, let's let, let's surround Nene. Let's give Nene support. Well, you know, Greg is the one that actually went through all the uh, trial and tribulations and the whole uh, thing of his body succumbing to an illness or of, 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 of a deadly disease, you know. Let's not forget about the person it actually happened to, okay? I know you got... Uh, drawn in it by default. Uh, you actually didn't suffer the illness, but the cares and goings of everything, you were affected to a certain degree. Okay, you felt like, thou, all this, I have to be, uh, you know, I have to be the breadwinner. I have to think like how a man is supposed to think on how he's supposed to take care of his family. Well, Nene. Yep, that's pretty much it. what it is, but women been doing it since the dawn of day, you know, men don't never want to stay where they're supposed to be staying, and sometimes the women may drive them away, I'm not really sure, that's not something we're here to talk about or speak on, we're just talking about your actions and what you're playing in a part of trying to put everything on Greg and his illness and how you feel. Well, it's always been about what you feel, Nene. It's always been centered around you. Let's just take some of that away, okay? Because you can definitely downsize. You can definitely get off of this show and live a normal life out of the fishbowl into reality, okay? And nobody would blame you at all, okay? It'd just be new OGs in the uh, realm of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you will and can be replaced, you know, with your uh, permission or not without your permission. You know what I'm saying? It's all about them ratings. But we're not going to want, I'm, I'm not going to be here for it, for you to make a big pity party and put Greg on the hot seat for your demise of your health, your stability, your mentalness. Because you should have been taking medication. You should have been getting your self-care that you needed along with uh, Greg's needs. If he felt like he didn't want to have care given and he wanted you solely with him, then that would just been a, 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 a slight argument there. But we would have got him help and you would have continued to do what makes you happy and how you can provide best for the family. Okay, these things, you, you know, you could have worked out a little better off camera off social media but see you and kenya love social media y'all like putting y'all stuff out on front street and then you get people such as myself uh out there to comment about it some things don't always have to be in the public eye nene leaks okay do better you know better so do better stop looking for sympathy you know what i'm saying from other people Get that self-awareness in yourself and carry on and, you know, get some spiritualness about yourself, okay? Don't tell everything for the public to hear and to digest on and put their comments back out there against you, okay? Just keep some things to yourself, all right? Uh, then I go back. Uh, the article says when she spoke to one of her doctors about her symptoms, they confirmed to her that she was experiencing depression. I don't really know what depression is, but I was speaking to my OBGYN and I was telling her a lot about how I felt. And she said, I think that you're going through a depression. And I didn't really know what depression felt like except for what anyone said. Or I guess you meant to say what everyone has said about it. Now, I can tell you my bout with depression, my bout with anxiety came when I was getting a divorce. Okay, if I may speak my truth. Uh, and it felt like. An elephant was sitting on my chest 
similar to what people feel who are asthmatic. They feel like an elephant is sitting on their chest. They can barely breathe. Um, everything just seems like tunnel vision. That's what I suffer from. And the stresses of, you know, taking care, being a caregiver for elderly family members, um, mother and father. You know, all that does take its toll. But it doesn't or shouldn't change your personality or how you treat people outside of what you're going through sometimes you have to take a reality check check what's going on with you fix the problem or manage the problem and then come back and treat people how you want to be treated and see Nene, that's what you have failed to do while you're trying to bring in sympathy points or to let us acknowledge as a whole that you're going through some issues and you're on medication if you do your research, Nene, I'm sure, if you look up mental illness, you look at all the statistics, there are a growing number of people in our age group, an older age group, and even, even younger as high schoolers are suffering from anxiety or suffering from depression. It just don't affect a certain group of people, a certain culture, none of that. It affects us as a whole unit, as a human race, okay? We're out there coming and going, moving and shaking, and it takes a lot on trying to maintain and keep what we think we want or we should have or what we should be attaining. That's a lot of stress involved. And we are breaking down as human beings day by day because the stressors or like kaputting to the roof, all right? They are just leaving us, and they have uh, broken the sound barrier, and stress is at an all-time high. It used to be for providers in the uh, medical field, you know, doctors, um, nurses, social workers. Uh, you could even say first responders, you know, firefighters. Uh, hell, you might want to say the teachers now, because they getting thrown out like, you know, the baby without the water, in a sense. You got children trying to jump on adults. You got adults doing sexual sins and, and, and perverted things to children. You know, it's, it's just a hot mess out here. So, Nene, my suggestion to you, either make your life a little bit more simplistic, take your medication, or rethink what you really want out of this life. Do you really want to be on a, a fishbowl? Do you really want to be scrutinized from day to day, depending on what you put out there on social media? I mean, you have to make your own choices because the choices you make, you're going to have to lay down with them, okay, until they resolve it, itself, whether good or bad. Okay, getting back to the article, it says, Lee said after that conversation, she was open to treating her depression with psychiatric medication. And so I started reading about it and learned things about myself that I saw in me. She gave me some medication and it really worked and it helped out a lot. I don't think I really understood how serious that was for us or in how much pressure I had on me. Months later, she and Greg are both doing better than before. Greg has been cancer free since May of this year, Leeks 51 has even been focused on her physical health and dropped 12 pounds after becoming a pescatarian. Okay, so I don't know. Nini got a lot going on. She wants to keep up with the times. She wants her figure to be intact, which don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. We all should be living a healthy, well-balanced life, spiritual Mentally and physically, of course, I agree wholeheartedly with that. But sometimes we have to take the stressors out of our situation as well and do what's best for us. Do what's best not only for our livelihood, but our mental stability. So, Nene, I don't, like I said, I don't know where you're going with your storyline. But be very careful when you're embarking on saying... Um, you, you want us to view you as a person who's going through a lot mentally, but yet you're destroying other people verbally and it's messing with their mentality. So, you know, it's a dangerous sword you're, you're, you're leaning on, okay? You can be just like you out there one time, uh, 
freestyling it at a comedy show, messed around and told somebody that, you know, you wish they had got, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about, about the Uber driver and stuff. And look, it had tore you down because the social media had tore you down. That was something you shouldn't have said. You should have thought about it before you put it out there. Even though it was in a comedy setting, it was a comedy scene, a skit you were trying to break through, but you're not a comedian. I don't know who told you that you were a comedian, but uh uh-uh. You need to rethink that idea. Like I said, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta is a great platform for you, but you need to know where you are at this time and right now it just seems like you're going somewhere everywhere and still trying to hold on to the title as the HBIC in charge okay but that's all I have for this video trying to see where Nini is trying to spin this story whether she's trying to make a more challenging uh more intimate type of setting of a whining story of a storyline she's going to give us plaguing it with her mental health bout with depression Okay, or is she going to return and reign as the queen of being the HBIC of Real Housewives of Atlanta? Or is she going to just turn in as a whiner, blame Greg for all her problems, all her uh, desires not being fulfilled, and why she got to work so darn hard <laughs> in this entertainment field? Okay, those are my three uh, perspectives I'm looking at. Don't know which one to choose because I don't want to discard her and uh, and don't think she's actually really suffering from uh, depression or about with depression because uh, she didn't seem like she's taking medication. She thinks she got it all solved out. It don't work that way, Nene. That medication only manage, but you got to do your due diligence, your homework, and release some of the stressors in your life. And if it means getting rid of Greg, you know, your marital vows, your bliss, your happiness with your man, or is it something that you need to do for your health and back away from reality, uh, being a reality star or cut back on your work uh, and stay in the entertainment field, but downsize a little bit, okay? Because you're already on the verge of taking medication, trying to manage your stress level, Okay. So what is going to be next? You're going to be in the hospital and we're going to be filming from the hospital bed. Or Nene trying to get correct with her health because she don't stress herself out. She didn't do her due diligence to check the signals and signs that her body is under a lot of stress. Her stress can lead to heart attacks, strokes and everything else, Nene. So you really need to be doing your research, boo. You really need to be doing your research. All right, but that's all I had for this particular um, video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll be entertaining you with a few more videos, not tonight, but maybe later on during the week. All right, y'all be blessed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.